Davos Big Boys Club sideline Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in its last annual meeting in Switzerland. It seems so funny that most people who felt Trudeau was an apologist of the World Economic Forum megalomaniac capitalist's radical agenda and should have earned a spot at the Davos Great Reset deliberation that saw a gathering of the world's most powerful individuals. But it must have been more surprising for Trudeau to see how the private luxury club members at Davos avoid him like the plague. It is not far-fetched from the fact that the Klaus Schwab-headed powerful caucus thinks that Justin Trudeau has dented their plans. His constant policies and repressive governance have only made the World Economic Forum's true agenda exposed to the masses, and the disgust for Trudeau by Davos elites can't get worse with his perpetual witlessness. Welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the abundant hypocrisy of the left-wing and mainstream media. To support our channel and its content, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Now let's get to the business of today. Justin Trudeau seemed to be one of the proud government officials on the World Economic Forum's guest list until recently, when the members of the forum saw him as too controversial to be invited to its annual meeting at Davos because that would only not generate unnecessary public attention, but also prove the true agenda of the forum aimed at a one-world totalitarian control. Remember that in 2017, Klaus Schwab had bragged that he had successfully infiltrated Justin Trudeau's cabinet and had the majority of his officials indoctrinated. And it only turned out that the suspicions of everyone got confirmed as Trudeau continued to advance the forum's objectives. From the imposition of vaccine mandates to the high inflation that is almost rendering many Canadians homeless to the invocation of the Emergency Act against the Freedom Convoy protesters. And this seems to have displeased his masters this time around who think he's overdoing it and his despotic governance is going against their own plan at not making the world know the deep consequences of accepting their dystopian radical plans for the world. What further confirmed Trudeau as an embarrassment to World Economic Forum elites is a recent article by Western Standard News highlighting the following. Only very strong democracies saw less vulnerability to democratic erosion. Yet even very strong democracies are acting more authoritatively in relation to public restrictions and vaccine mandates. For example, Canada's parliament recently decided to extend and broaden its emergency powers that enable police to stop dangerous and unlawful anti-vaccination protests, to now also allow the freezing of protesters' bank accounts. Of course, that was unreported and buried by the state media, who couldn't bring the disgrace of their biggest payer out to the public. And even though the World Economic Forum is embarrassed because Trudeau's acts keep giving away their plans and exposing the intended outcome of their dystopian agenda, he still remains a perfect globalist candidate that the Davos big boys can use in infiltrating Canadian Western democracy. And this is actually leaving us to wonder what more despotic strategies Justin Trudeau will come up with before his tenures expire in exchange for getting back on the World Economic Forum's guest list. All right, that's all on today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel to stay updated when we drop another video. Make sure also to check our other videos and leave a like. Thanks for watching.